so much, Lee. Well, now back to big breaking news overnight. A drunk driver is accused of making a crumbling mess of a Pinellas County Waffle House while you were sleeping. A BMW slammed right into the side of the restaurant on Starkey Road in Seminole. News Channel 8's Evan Donovan is there live now. And Evan, we understand the damage is incredible. Do we know if anybody was hurt? Uh, good morning to you, Marco and Gil. It doesn't appear that anyone was hurt. We were told that by the emergency personnel that we saw on scene when we got here about 2 o'clock this morning. I want to show you what's happening right here, though. Luckily, there was a contractor nearby in Hudson that was working on a new construction for a Waffle House there. And you can see uh, the regional manager there is on the right. He called in these two guys to help him get this store kind of back up and running. Uh, we'll show you what it looked like earlier this morning when we first got here. A lot different than this cleanup effort that's happening right now. You can see a ton of damage there on the scene that white BMW that you see with all the damage to the front of it we are told by the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office that was the vehicle that rammed into the side of this Waffle House that man actually has been charged we'll tell you about that in just a moment but we do want to let you know that there were several employees in the restaurant and several customers at the time this is a 24 7 Waffle House but luckily none of them were injured so the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office says the man responsible is 45-year-old Isaiah Garcia. He has been charged with DUI involving property damage. He's being held in the Pinellas County Detention Center on $500 bond right now. Back out here live, you can see that uh, these contractors really doing a great job right there. When we first got here, you could see from some of that video all the debris that was scattered pun intended, all around the outside of this Waffle House, and they have really done a great job of uh, getting it all set. Hopefully, they're going to be opening later on today. Yeah, that's the one thing that's kind of unusual to see a Waffle House with the lights turned off. You never see that, Evan. All right, thanks for the update.